Hi, I'm Brian Somiente. I'm the marketing manager here at Campanello, and I'm here to introduce the new Campanello 2009 Super Record Group Set. We're going to start off with the new levers. These levers are new ergonomically redesigned for comfort. We have three hand positions. We have the hoods, we have the drops, and a third hand position into our levers. You can cup it right on the top. Also on the top side, we have an increased distance of 50% for greater um, contact and more comfort. We're now channeling the top portion of it for a lot grippier surface. Also the way the channels work is wind would naturally channel away any moisture from the grip. Underneath the hoods we have new air pockets. These are sensitive to different pressure points on your hands and throughout the top portion of the lever. On the underneath side you can put three fingers underneath the levers versus last year's two fingers we also have a new double groove brake lever, higher pivot design, makes it more braking power at the bottom. Also the ability to brake from the top of the hoods. Especially for women that don't want to get in the drops, they can brake from the hoods. They also change the sweep. The sweep is now following the natural curvature of your finger. So your finger is not sliding against that lever blade when you're shifting. We also hid the housing behind the bottle, the body, so you're not getting that bulge effect. The reach is also decreased, it's a shorter reach for the majority of the public. If you want a bigger reach, you put a shim on the back and it kicks up the whole body. The reason why we don't take it in the levers by itself, if, if you do that, you're going to affect any ergonomics of the shifters. There's a new 2009 Super Record Ergo Power Shifters. Moving forward, we got the new Super Record Rear Derailleur system, titanium hardware, a new carbon fiber outer plate with a lot wider pivots, increase the torsional stiffness 150%. On the back side we have new 11 tooth pulley wheels for longer and equal wear. These pulley wheels have a special rubberized coating on them so it absorbs chain vibration at the bottom. They're hollowed out to save weight and we both have ceramic bearings in our rear derailleur. Our front derailleur, both compact and standard compatible, has a new anodized finish on the back plate, resist corrosion and flaking. Inside cage now comes with a metal insert so the chain doesn't grind away against the carbon. A lot wider pivots means it's a lot stiffer front derailleur. Derailleur is now coming in a brazon 32 and 35 millimeter clamps. It's both compact and standard compatible. New super record crank set. These are the same crank arms as last year's record. It is 11 speed specific. The chains are the chain rings are closer together and that's actually taking it up in the teeth profile. We have a new hard anodized finish on here. Resist corrosion and flaking. A lot smoother surface means a lot smoother shifts. These rings will last three times longer than last year's record chain rings. Also new we have a new ceramic bearing technology system. This bearing system is not only just ceramic ball bearings, but it's special races made from Chronotech that complement the ceramic bearing. So instead of just a ceramic bearing, you have a ceramic bearing system. This is so superior that you could run these dry, but we like to oil them slightly. We also have the new 11-speed cassette. It's now coming with an aluminum lock ring. We have a new overall sprocket of 1227. We also shaved down one of the profiles of the teeth to look like a shark's fin. That's where the shifting actually takes place. We're now housing at three rings per carrier versus last year's two rings per carrier. That increased the bending stiffness 70%. On the back side, you can't really see it here, but we are now drilling the cassette rings all the way down to the free hub body. Last year's our rings were sitting on a carrier and the carrier would be the torsional drying force. Now that we're keying it all the way down to the free hub body, the cassette ring, increase the torsional stiffness 180%. Last but not least, we have the new 11 speed chain. It goes from a 5.9 millimeter to a 5.5. What we did is we took last year's chain at a 5.9 width and shaved the outside to a 5.5. Of course that would compromise the strength of the chain so they use a higher quality steel and that made the chain 20% stronger. 
thing about this chain is the internal diameter still stays the same, which means that the cassette rings on our cassette and our the thickness of our chain rings is all the same thickness. They're just closer together. Going back to 11 speed cassette, this will work on a 10 speed free hub body. And this is the 2009 Super Record group set from Campanello.